Beneath Antarctica's icy veil lies a hidden network of over 130 volcanoes, recently mapped by radar and satellites. As the continent warms, this ice cap is melting, removing the pressure that kept ancient magma trapped that if magma rises beneath melting glaciers, rapid ice loss and powerful subglacial eruptions could follow. Stay with me, because what this means for coastal cities could redefine our future. In 2017 the University of Edinburgh discovered 91 previously unknown volcanoes under West Antarctica. That brings the total above 130, rivaling volcanic density in Africa's Rift Valley. These hidden giants rise over 4,000 m from their bases, buried by kilometers of ice that what's happening beneath that ice today could soon surface, with dramatic consequences. Radar and satellite imagery from 2017 confirmed 91 new volcanoes. Ongoing research now confirms over 130. These are not small features. They include shield volcanoes, stratovolcanoes, and geothermal systems. Their sheer number makes West Antarctica one of the planet's most volcanically dense regions. Many have remained dormant and invisible beneath the ice for tens of thousands of years. Mount Erebus on Ross Island is already active, but deep beneath the sheet others stir in silence. Seismic arrays reveal low-frequency quakes under Mount Takahe and Mount Wishi, far from the coast. Satellite thermal scans detect hot spots under glaciers, suggesting magma movement below. These signs hint at an awakening under ice that could drastically shift regional geodynamics. The weight of kilometers of ice suppresses magma chambers, Known as glacial loading, as climate warms and ice retreats, pressure lifts through isostatic rebound. Similar events in Iceland after the last ice age triggered 50 times more volcanic eruptions. Now West Antarctica mirrors that loss, with ice melting rapidly in recent decades. Recent studies show Antarctic ice thinning at increasing rates, particularly around Pine Island and Thwaites, as that support disappears. Magma chambers beneath can expand, shifting toward eruptions. This rise in volcanic risk is not future projection, it's a present-day geological shift, and it's backed by real-time ice loss data from satellite altimetry missions. Mount Erebus stands as the southernmost active volcano on Earth, maintaining a lava lake since the 1970s that IT undergoes regular seismic tremors, gas emissions, and occasional small explosive bursts. This confirms powerful volcanic activity can coexist with polar extremes. Behind the ice, similar systems may be poised to join this exclusive club. Seismic surveys register tremor swarms under Mount Takahe and Wishi, suggesting magma in motion. Airborne radar and thermal imaging detect geothermal heat under Pine Island Glacier. These signs imply subglacial volcanoes may already be warming from beneath that if these heat pockets grow, they could initiate melting events unseen above ground. When volcanoes erupt beneath ice, meltwater accumulates under pressure until it floods out violently. These blasts, called jokel lops, have destroyed land bridges in Iceland and Greenland. Under Antarctica's massive glaciers, such eruptions could destabilize ice shelves instantly. A single event beneath Pine Island could rapidly melt hundreds of square kilometers of ice. Domestic monitoring in the Arctic showed jokel lops carving deep ice wadis that I in Antarctica. Floods of that scale could break ice shelves holding glaciers back. This would unleash large-scale ice flow into the ocean, rising sea levels dramatically. The risk is no longer theoretical. It's backed by detected sub-ice heat sources. Major glacier collapses in Antarctica drive sea level rise by meters over decades to centuries. Even one meter of rise threatens major coastal cities like New York, Mumbai, and Shanghai. If volcanic melt accelerates glacier collapse, models underestimate future coast impact. This makes subglacial volcanism a wild card in global sea level predictions. A full collapse of Thwaites and Pine Island glaciers could add up to three meters globally. Lower end rises still flood low elevation areas and disrupt ecosystems and economies. Scientists now include volcanic heat in predictive sea level simulations. This emerging threat demands stronger coastal planning and early warning systems. Volcanic sulfur emissions can temporarily cool the planet, but ashes and CO2 trap heat long term. Dark meltwater exposed by ice loss reduces albedo, absorbing more solar radiation. 
Combine this with volcanic heat and atmospheric emissions, and a positive warming loop emerges. Antarctica's volcanic awakening could amplify climate change beyond current projections. Ice albedo feedback is well documented. Volcanic heat intensifies its speed and scale. As subglacial eruptions occur, melt accelerates, further exposing ice and raising temperatures. This fire ice feedback loop shifts climate systems unpredictably, domino effect on weather patterns. Current climate models are only now starting to integrate this critical mechanism. Monitoring volcanoes under kilometers of ice requires cutting-edge tools and coordination. Satellite radars, altimeters, and passive seismic sensors help detect subtle ground deformation. NASA's IceBridge and ESA's Cryosat data reveal millimeter-scale elevation changes over time. Seismic stations around Pine Island detect unique low-frequency quakes, a known magma signature. These satellites now track ice sheet uplifts, suggesting magma intrusion, live and continuous. Ground teams place sensors on accessible ice margins to record geothermal heat flux. Data sharing networks under the Antarctic Treaty are compiling real-time datasets. Such systematic monitoring provides early warnings if magma starts to ascend suddenly. The Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research SCAR, coordinates multinational monitoring efforts. New seismic buoys and remote sensors near Pine Island and Thwaites glaciers will expand coverage. Updated climate models now include volcanic heat as a critical variable in sea level predictions. Coastal governments are reviewing emerging eruption risk scenarios for future contingency plans. Early warning frameworks for coastal areas are being drafted based on eruption-induced collapse models. Scientific workshops now explore how to integrate volcanic data into urban resilience planning. Still early days, but progress is accelerating in mapping Antarctic volcanic threats. Global collaboration has turned a hidden threat into a monitored risk, just in time. A hidden geological monster is stirring beneath Antarctica. Its eruptions could rewrite our coastlines. But science is responding with new monitoring, better models, and global cooperation. This isn't distant news, it's an immediate alert demanding public awareness and policy action. If we act now, through research, detection systems, and climate mitigation, we can protect our future. So like, subscribe, The Story Vault, and share this video. To raise awareness while it's still early, tell us in the comments, which coastal city concerns you most and why.